So now we have a new expression for the weight that depends on the payroll tax. So what's the new expression for the labor demand? So the labor demand is going to be modified by the payroll tax. So now labor demand is going to be So we have A alpha, that doesn't change. We have 1 plus tau theta alpha, that's where tau is a group structure producer ratio. So you remember that then that extra element here, oops, sorry, and have 1 over 1 minus alpha, and that extra element here that I have to add is uh, the wage paid by firm. So before it was W. But now, because we have the payroll tax, it's going to be 1 plus T W. Okay, um, so that's a new expression for the labor demand. And as you can see, the payroll tax is influencing the labor demand. And in particular, what we can see is that because the payroll tax uh, here is in the denominator, when the payroll tax goes up, the labor demand is going to fall. Is going to be depressed and when the payroll tax drops the labor demand is going to be stimulated uh, so okay uh, and so you can see that an increase in the payroll tax is just the same you know it's going to depress the labor demand so it's just the same as an increase in minimum wage. It does, you know, it, it, it's going to look exactly the same. And when you reduce the payroll tax, it's just exactly the same as a decrease in minimum wage. So they operate exactly the way, uh, exactly the same way. So everything we've seen with the minimum wage actually translates to the analysis of a payroll tax. Um, so you know we, we can you know we can uh, we can draw a small uh, small diagram to show exactly how these things work, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be exactly the same. So here I can put tightness employment. And my labor supply is not affected. So I can start with some labor demand. And so then I can look at if the payroll tax goes up, what's going to happen? What if the payroll tax goes up? What we've said is that that's going to basically, you know, if your wage that the workers take home uh, doesn't change, your payroll tax goes up, firms will have to pay more. Okay? Uh, and that's going to make uh, employment less profitable, so then your labor demand is going to be uh, depressed. So you're going to get something like this. So if your payroll tax goes up, you're going to depress your labor demand. So um, your old equilibrium, which was here, is going to move to a new equilibrium, which is here. Uh, so you'll have lower tightness. Tightness is going to fall. Employment is going to fall. And of course, unemployment is going to increase. Uh, so as we said, this is the same as when the minimum wage goes up. Or when your wage in fact goes up. So an increase in the payroll tax is going to depress the labor market. Uh, okay. And of course, if you reduce the payroll tax, what was proposed by the White House, that would boost um, your labor market, right? So it would look something like this. If you have a decrease in the payroll tax, you will get something like this. Your labor demand would be stimulated like this. And 
uh, you know, your equilibrium would move up like this. And so, of course, unemployment would, would reduce, tightness would increase, uh, and employment would increase. Okay? Uh, so same thing as dropping the minimum wage.